there and just scroll. Every morning before I would get out of bed, I would scroll TikTok for like an hour. And I felt like- Yeah, this is usually me like in the morning. Like I just scroll on all my socials, check emails. Cause sometimes I'd be getting emails while I'm sleeping. And then what's up guys? It is your boy, Big Ryan 16 back with another video drop. Hope you guys are having a good day. Night after when you guys are watching this video. And today we're gonna react to why attention spans are cooked by word eye. Attention span. All right, let's see how this video is. Today's day and age. Now, I'm obviously not safe from the problem. I mean, I can barely get myself together to record a 10 minute video. Now, I feel also, like a lot of wordy and bread eye videos are literally on TikTok a lot. Not gonna lie. Like, especially with like Subway Surfer clips. to start with short form content. Now, I used to make short form content, and the problem here is that. You have to spend so much time editing short form content out of all these little explosions and movements on the screen. You can't even just sit down and talk to the camera without captions or else your ass is getting 5% retention. And you know yeah, because niggas aren't going to pay attention unless you have like fancy ass captions. Do you think they're going to push somebody with like 5% retention? No. Obviously, they're going to push the people who can keep people watching for the longest amount of time. But don't get me wrong. I still like to add visuals in to entertain you guys. I don't want to just put a black screen up and call it a day. Ew. That's boring as hell. No one's going to watch. But I think it got to a point where the short form content that I was making was just way too all over the place and just spurgy. I would literally sit there and edit a short meticulously for three goddamn hours trying to figure out if I had enough visuals going on at the captions were popping out enough or whatever and i hated it I this is this is literally a lot of like uh, tiktokers or youtuber like youtube shorts people who literally have like an animated like i don't know profile or animated character like not gonna lie some of them are entertaining like you know i did watch a lot a little bit of word eye videos when it was short entertaining i also watched the duck and then i also watch uh what's it called i think nutshell animations and then like there's a few others i'm gonna name one of them i like always watch but i always forget his name I hated making YouTube shorts. The only reason why I kept doing it is because it was helping my channel grow. And at the time, yeah, a lot of YouTubers grow, grew off of YouTube shorts, not gonna lie. Find you in shorts feed, nine times out of ten, they're not gonna care to go watch your long form content. And that's why I made the shorts in the first place, to help my long form content grow too. And it didn't work out because nobody was going to my long form videos, even though I was getting like four or five million views on some shorts. Because think about it, it's like you're trying to get somebody who typically watches a 30 second video to go watch a 10 minute video. Like, it's not gonna work. You see, this is like a lot of kids unless they actually rocks with your content and that's sadly like a small majority of people with the vast sea of shorts content out there They're especially kids like some of them just be scrolling and never actually watch like the long form cartoon unless they just put it on their tv like literally my sisters do this some kind of short form segment to it and of course these platforms want to compete with tiktok obviously the content has to be way too overstimulating, or it's just going to be thrown into the void and never be seen again now i've been doing youtube for a long ass time about four years since i was like 16 17 years old in all my years of I've been doing it ever since 12 like fifth grade i still have 20 percent of people leave in like the first 10 seconds and it just leaves me thinking over here damn bro i suck ass what the fuck i'm just confused. yeah and i got hold you i've felt this before a lot like every like every time i upload a video i'm like please tell me people are gonna watch over the one minute mark or at least watch more than two minutes and some people do when some I, people don't it depends on like the video uh, like if it's sml yeah ever since and now that i'm at the beginning of adulthood having a garbage attention span is not a great start when i'm in public i'm always on my phone bro like i can't get off it but even though i should just be paying attention to my surroundings just living in nature talking to people that are in front of me i'm not conversations or just anything else just isn't as stimulating as the <laughs> technology so obviously how my brain works is not gonna hold you that for me it really depends on who i'm with right uh, like if I'm with like my, like my friends, easy. If I'm with my girlfriend, easy. If I'm with like some random person that I'm not really close with, then yeah, I may be on my phone unless I need to have a conversation with them about something or at least something random. 
humans, we want to consume as much information as possible. And although I want to watch all the goddamn videos in the world, I just don't have the time to. It's like an overabundance of content. Even when I was a kid, there were so many mobile games, so many brain rot YouTube videos that I had watched growing up. And there was a lot of options on my phone. There was so much. Yeah, not, before before the mobile like gaming scene became overpopulated with a lot of of those like cheap ass like mobile shitty ads. Some of them were actually pretty good. Not gonna lie. It's just gotten much worse to put two videos at the bottom in order for your video to get attention. I talk to content creators all the time, and I personally had to do this myself, but in order to get views on TikTok, I had to put a Subway Surfer clip underneath my video. And all of a sudden, once I did that, oh my god, I'm going viral out of nowhere. Millions of views on my goddamn TikToks. And that is the current meta, unfortunately. But I thought to myself, like, are people even going to see value in this clip, or are they only going to watch for the gameplay? So that's why I just... I feel like it really, I feel like it really depends. <laughs> like, like, uh, short form content, like adding game, gameplay, like Subway Surfers, or like, I don't know, GTA or Temple Run. It only became popular because like people would put it with like a certain like TV show clip like on a family guy or South Park or like Spongebob or something like that and eventually it, it became starting to become what youtubers and then that's when people starting to start doing that like a big one is like I show speeding Kai out where people will just do this and then you like you know like for me I'll watch the I'll watch the clip but sometimes I'm like yeah yeah the gameplay right there is kind of relaxing but most of the time I'll just be watching the clip and just seeing what's the context and basically all that and then unless there's something that catches my eye in the gameplay like something like is going wrong or they're doing something very strange like not collecting coins then i'm just like what the hell is this stop posting tiktok clips i don't really know if it's helping my channel at all to be honest like if it was just the video by itself nobody would care but now that there's a subway surfer dude running at the bottom oh my god this is so or yeah you still on the side like, like this like not that bad change how good a fucking video is bro it's sad people have to have that gameplay there or it's not a good video it's not stimulating enough and part of the problem is this overstimulation is so addicting like when people get on these platforms they just get stuck in a loop for hours and that's how I was in college my freshman year. I would just scroll on TikTok all day. And that's why I just don't even use the app in general. And even when I was posting videos, I would just do it on the computer so I didn't get on there and just scroll. Every morning before I would get out of bed, I would scroll TikTok for like an hour. And I felt like- Yeah, this is usually me like in the morning. Like I just scroll on all my socials, check emails. Cause sometimes I'd be getting emails while I'm sleeping. And then eventually I'll get up and get ready for school. But usually I just be scrolling on my phone for a bit before I actually get up bring myself together to work like i don't know why but it just feels like relaxed i'm like even today well another day another constantly shit hole of me going to school at 100 percent focus all the time so we're just used to being fed content and information constantly now that's why your phone is so addicting these apps are always spamming you with notifications that's why i just have them off oh tammy just made a new instagram post check it out and yeah this is me unless it's like youtube because i gotta know when like a certain creator like on a word eye or bird eye or sml or like some other creator like usually posts but most of the time i'll be having a lot of my social like notifications off unless someone like i don't know like at me on a post or like dms me but other than that, I usually just have them off. can entertain you or sometimes provide value for you. Like if you're trying to learn a new skill. But you got to realize like when is it too much? Like when am I consuming too much information? I tried setting limits, but I always just bypass them and it just became a habit now. I was foolish for thinking. Yeah, sometimes you just you, you have the alarms on, but then you just ignore it and then just. Throw my phone across the room or some shit. You really thought I was going to do that? Nah, bro. Why, why are you throwing your phone? Album just dropped, bro. I'm trying to listen to it. But I still got got a lot to talk about now when i was talking about brain rot earlier y'all you know, i was talking about like annoying orange and fred Fred, uh, yeah if i go did that <laughs> when i was a kid but now it's gone so much worse people have made like skippity toilet box exists and as you know, I've talked about that a lot, so I'm not going to get too deep into that. But it makes me think, like, where are we going to Yeah. What is content going to look like? I feel like Brain Raw had gotten worse. Like, yeah, Annoying Orange and Fred, it, it, it was very annoying. Nobody's even but it was somewhat funny annoying. Skippy Toilet and Linky Box. Keep people entertained or some shit. Is that where we're Yeah. Nowadays just doesn't even have words in it. It's just a bunch of sound effects and brain rot terms that are spread on the internet. Like Yeah, especially this age. 
AI crap. Like, Especially all of these AI type of videos. Like, I like AI, like, you know, music, like, parody videos, but sometimes it, it really do be getting annoying. We got video game consoles, VR headsets, AirPods. We even got the Apple Vision Pro now. It's basically a phone on your goddamn head. When you put it on, you see all the apps and all that shit literally right in front of your face. Like, in a couple of years, are people going to be walking around with those things on? Like, I imagine. Never, imagine. Myself, like, imagine it starts getting a lot more, like, they start lowering the prices. Apple, Apple, Apple. Like, these motherfuckers are taking over. Like, I swear, so many people are, so many niggas are going to be wearing that. So many, like, just. Technology's going to take over the world. I believe it now more than ever. Because there's a lot of things that people can't do now. Like, for example, I can't even do basic math. I was using a calculator all throughout high school in my short-lived college career. And you think I know how to spell words? Fuck no, bro. Autocorrect has been saving my ass. And in college, when it was time. This is definitely me. Like, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not stupid. I'm not, like, stupid. But when it comes to math, yeah, I, 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 I'm not gonna hold you. I'm pretty retarded, not gonna lie. Like, basic math, I can do basic math. Like, it, it just goes all the way until, like, I wanna say around 8th grade where I actually struggle. Like, uh, I'm not that good at geometry. I'm not that good at any any of the algebra and then i i, I take pre-calc right now i'm skipping calculus next year bro i'm doing like very terrible Time to write the essay. like i'm not stupid i'm not stupid but like you know math i'm just terrible at math and then spelling i'm decent at spelling but yeah even i use autocorrect sometimes like either, either i use autocorrect or i just get someone to spell check me and how do we fix this problem? A lot of people might be wondering. Well, I feel like the only way to fix it is to just set limits on like your technology use and just detox. And I know it's hard and I know it's really difficult not to pick up your phone, but you have to do it if you want to improve your attention span. And I mean, overall I think this can work. Honestly, when I was a kid, I really didn't even have that much technology. I only had like, like, a simple walk in like certain things like phones and a Kindle. My own advice. I forgot what I was going to talk about next. So uh, I'm just going to end it here. See ya. Later, what I, what I. There's that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, not gonna. Hold you. I, I kind of enjoyed the video. I kind of enjoyed it. Not gonna hold you. The topic of attention, attention spams is like very interesting because the way like you look back at it, where it's like, okay, we had like short form content, like you know, we had like Vine, we had like Musically. It was never really like where we had to like like use clips and all that. It was just either someone doing like I don't know, a funny skit or using like a funny like you know clip from a show or something or like you know just something funny or someone just dancing or singing and then. It was like it was actually pretty funny but now it's not the same because now it's like you know if you try to do it yeah but it's like most of the time you're gonna have to do it with like some type of gameplay that's not very like distracting but it's like easy easy like you know appealing <laughs> so it's like yeah looking back at it kids attention spans are basically cooked and then like just the way the direction it's going i'm like yeah maybe it, it I feel like it could eventually be get get better, but so far it just looks like we're just like downright just fucked. We're just downright just fucked. So anyways, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe the bell and get notified when I upload a new video comment. What do you guys remember out to next? So anyways, that was the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oops.